All right, today is March 21st, 2023, Tuesday at 4 p.m. Call the Peru City Board of Public Works meeting to order. Reading and approval of amendment to the last meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes and suspend the reading. Motion being made by Matthew. I'll second it. Approve the reading of the minutes. Accept them as written. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Payment of claims in the amount of $110,895.35. I'll make a motion that payment of claim would be made in that amount. I'll second that. Seconded by Matthew. Payment of claims of $110,895.35. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Regular payroll in the amount of $197,896.11. I'll make a motion to approve the regular payroll as presented. I'll second it. Motion been made by Matthew, seconded by Miles. Payroll in the amount of $197,896.11 be made. All those in favor signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. No pension payroll or crossing guard payroll at this time. Moving right along. Old business, awarding bids for East Main Street paving projects. Yeah, at the last, at the last uh, meeting we opened the bids. We had two bids for uh, East Main Street, um, E&B paving and Gaunt and Son. The Gaunt and Son bid was Eight hundred fifty-two thousand eight seventy-five and ninety cents. The ENB project was nine hundred ninety thousand seven hundred four seventy-five, and the um, street department re department recommends we accept Gaunt and Son. I'll make a motion that we accept a awarding bid to Gaunt and Sons in the amount of. Eight hundred fifty-two thousand eight seventy-five ninety. Second that. Motion been made by Miles, seconded by Matt. Gaunt and Sons have received the bid for the East Main Street paving project in the amount of eight hundred fifty-two thousand seven hundred and fifty-nine dollars and what? Ninety cents. Ninety cents. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Also under old business, revisiting a request from Barbara Hunt concerning the maker of portions of East 8th Street one way. Todd? Uh, we started our uh, traffic study. Um, 27th of February, but uh, our counter, our radar counter, uh, it started counting at midnight on the 28th. So in a six-day period, just that block, seeing 1,818 cars Excuse pass through it. Uh, we didn't have very many. I mean, these reports also give us a... Uh, uh, Average speeds and highest and lowest, and if it's enforceable, but um, that's a low enforcement block. And then we also took a measurement of the entire mm -hmm. street starting at where Wayne curves around and turns into uh, eighth. And eighth to Wayne, we had an overall length of 23 feet, and if we allow for 16 feet parking on each side that's only going to give us a seven foot drive lane and then the numbers vary eighth to tip of canoe is 28 feet that'll give us a 12 foot drive lane if we did parking on both sides same for clay uh eighth to clay clay to, clay to wall bash will drop to 27 feet and that gives us an 11 foot drive lane wall bash to broadway is 29 feet that gives us 13 
and studying the whole situation, we can't really go with just one block. We would have to commit to the whole street for safety reasons. And then we're getting into how do you do that? Because when you get down towards Broadway, if we took it to the east one way, then we would stop Garden Gate from being able to use their drive up. And if we go to the west, then you've got traffic back up trying to get out Harvey Hinkelmeyer's. And then another downside to the whole situation is Circus Week. We use that street, it's used a lot as a bypass up to Wabash. And another drawback is when we get coverage on the train intersections. The only one is the underpass and then we've got people flying up and down where they're used to using 8th Street. They're having to circumvent and run down either Ewing over to Wall, but you know, it would be a real nightmare. And especially if we did it in just in one block, because then we would be getting the confusion of, oh man, now I got, I got wait a minute, what am I doing? I got to, you know. So at this time, the, the traffic department, we don't recommend doing it simply because, and, and I also checked into the history of that street. Uh, the past, I went and visited the past traffic department superintendent, and he said it was parking just on one side when he took the job, and that was in, I, Dan, do you remember when, Wade was there 30 years? Wade was there before me. Yeah. Well, I've, I've lived in my house 37 yeah. years. Yeah. And we didn't, we first moved there, you could park on both sides of the street. That might, that might have been before but Wade. it's only been maybe 10 years or so. Uh, Wade I don't said, remember. yeah, Wade said it was since, it was, be, he said it, it was there the whole entire time he, was the superintendent? He was there 32 years. Well, Walker is the one that changed it. Okay. Where we park on the south side. Yeah. Walker was the mayor when they changed it. Okay. Yeah, I think they probably did that because of the if it was just too narrow. Yeah. And I I think that I mean you got to look at fire too. I mean that would be it. coming down through there in a fire truck. Well, they had a fire. A house. Yeah. Down there, and but at this point, I just think it's too narrow to go. I, I don't like the one way simply because, man, I, I mean, we used to have them in town when I was a kid. I can remember some, but I, I don't know why they took those away. Uh, at this time, we don't recommend going the one way. Okay. On any part of it. Thanks. Right. <clears throat> Thank you. Ma'am, do you have anything else you want to say before we make a ruling on this? Well, now our neighbors aren't allowed, they were parking in an alley next to our house, the ones that live in the east of the west of us. So we have two more cars there. We have a house that's not rented. And when they rent that, there's going to be more. There's going to be more people. You get company, there's nowhere for a company to park. They're already fighting over the spots. It's mainly just parking area, you know, there's... We had our neighbors to the west of us. They were parking in an alley. They said the mayor at that time gave them permission, but they didn't have it in writing. So a couple weeks ago, the cops came and told them they can't park in that alley no more. So that's two extra cars on the street. Was that north and southbound alley? Yeah. <clears throat> has that that probably never been closed, has it? The the, yeah. They said they had a, a verbal agreement with the mayor, but they never put it in writing. Verbal agreements don't, you know go from mayor to mayor to mayor uh north all, all the north south alleys are, are we're in the process of vacating a lot of them aren't we? right so that could be the landowners on each side of that alley could petition to have that alley closed they're doing that if you got to put it in the street. okay because that way 
what normally happens, and correct me if I'm wrong, when Nelly is vacated, half of it goes this way and half of it goes this way. Yes. So if, if both landowners get half of it and they agree on using that as a parking for either or, or both, then, then nothing, the police won't come down there and run them out. So, but I'm afraid that, you know, with recommendations and everything, just making one block one way doesn't, it's going to create more confusion and create more of a hazard than what it is with you guys just parking around back in the alley now. It's way further to come in your house. You're carrying and, groceries. And I've had windows busted out of my vehicle back there. And people people had stereo stolen out. When, because the van, when the trains sit on the track, they, I don't know, I think it's pretty run back there, I guess. When's, when's the last time you heard of a vehicle being having anything right. stolen out of it back there? Last, last year. Summer. Yeah, they busted my window out of my van. But that was done by... That wasn't done by transit yeah, off of the train. That was wasn't that done by somebody local though? Yeah, My police there. chief just left, so I can't can't ask him. Uh, there was a I, we was in New Mexico when it happened. Someone called me out there as soon as we got there. We found out about it, so. Well, I knew no if you would if you feel like there's a safety issue parking around back, if you're afraid of the car being vandalized or anything, if you call the police department, they'll make extra patrol down through the area for you. I used to have to do that when I was on the department all the time. We'd have a list. These people's going to be gone for a week. We'd do extra patrol and watch your house and stuff for them. We wouldn't sit there all the time, but you know, anytime we go from east to west, somebody would make a, a tour down through there and check it. They and do a, a rail, the peg, whatever, that holds down the rail. The spike? Through. Yeah, they missed the first time, so they didn't. They never had to make sure they're not going to have them. <laughs> but then when you park in the back, it's it way work. further to get in your house. I thought you had parking right behind your property. I, I from have the alley. Be on my garage, yes. I have a one spot back there. Okay. But it's too it's so far to walk to go from going to the front. If people come to visit me, they tell them to park back there in the kitchen. Does anybody else have anything on this? I'm sorry, and I know it's not what you want to hear, but I'm going to have to accept the recommendation of the traffic department to not go with one way for that one block. And that way you'll know, keep the pattern as it is right now with parking on one side of the street, which is the south side of the street, correct? And you live on the north side of the street? Yeah. Okay. So you want me to make the motion? I did. Oh. Okay, you I'll second, second. second it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I made the motion that remains the same as it is now with parking only on the south side of the street and none on the north and not make it into a one way. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. With that being said, it's not something that, you know, you can't revisit later on, too. Uh, Maybe later on this summer, or even in January. I I don't know how long the Walker was mayor, but they did it because the snow plowed next to Jerry Clark's dually truck. Yeah, I think he was mayor for 16 years. He was oh. mayor for 12. 12. 12, and he, he left office in uh, at the end of 2015. Yeah. 2015. It was not too long before he lost yeah, his last term. All right, moving right along. Request from Chief Hawk to promote to permanent status firefighter. We've got three here. We'll take them individual. The first one will be Ivan. 
honorable board members, I'd like to request that probationary fighter fighter Kristen Fulton be considered as permanent status at Peru Fire Department. Mr. Fulton's official hire date was March 13th, 2021. March 19th. I'm, I stand corrected. March 19th, 2021. Mr. Fulton has completed all the required training for permanent status at Peru Fire Department. Respectfully, Eric Hawk, Chief of Police, Chief of Fire Department. <laughs> I wonder what you're going to do when you retire. Almost, almost got you. <laughs> almost got you promoted to Fire Chief, or Police Chief. Well, I don't know if that'd be a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Fire Chief. I'll, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the permanent status of Christian Fulton to the Fire Department. Motion been made by Matthew. I'll second to accept Firefighter Christian Fulton be considered permanent. His official hire date was March 19, 2021. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Moving right along. Honorable board members, I'd like to request that probationary firefighter Joshua Schaefer be considered as permanent status at Peru Fire Department. Mr. Schaefer's official hire date was March 19, 2021. Mr. Schaefer had completed all the required training for permanent status at Peru Fire Department. Respectfully, Eric Hawk, Fire Chief. I'll make a motion that we accept Mr. Schaefer as permanent status on the Peru Fire Department. I'll second that. Motion was made by Myla, second by Matthew. Accept him, Mr. Schaefer, and his permanent status. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Moving right along, the third one. Honorable board members, I'd like to request that probationary firefighter Cole Oswald be considered as permanent status at Peru Fire Department. Mr. Osball officially hired date was December 20th, 2020. Mr. Osball has completed all the required training for permanent status at Peru Fire Department. Respectfully, Eric Hawk, Fire Chief. I'll make a motion to approve Cole Osball's permanent status at the Fire Department. Motion made by Matthew, seconded by Miles. Accept Mr. Osball as a permanent fixture in the status at Peru Fire Department. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Congratulations to the three new firemen there on there. Moving right along. Also, memorization of understanding between Peru Fire Department in Miami County for use of radio frequencies. Uh, what this is is um, basically just an MOU between us and the county for using their repeater system. So uh, Proof Fire, we don't have a repeater system. And as we all know that um, when we're on our TAC-2 system that it's tough. It's just from unit to unit. This will give us the capabilities since we're going further out into the county to be able to use our portals to reach back to central, reach back to base, um, which is going to be a huge help. We um, went with ARP money, got it granted to buy a repeater, um, but central and the county has said, hey, don't look at buying one. You can use this one. This used to be the old repeater for the uh, dispatch for law enforcement. Uh, and then it went to uh, Duke's Hospital, and those they, those two units have went 800 megahertz, and so they had this system already set up, ready to go. We already had our frequencies, had those frequencies in our radios, so it's just giving us the understanding that we can dispatch or we can use their communications on their system. So you're getting this done at no cost? Yes, sir. 
And that's, that's for safety reasons since you're going out farther and everything? It's safety reasons and just... Uh, your radios wouldn't pick up out there Absolutely. Before? Since we're, you know, gradually we're going out now. Before it wasn't too much of a problem with our portables in town, but since we're getting out of town, it's huge. We just can't reach back to Central or to our base. Now, is this separate frequency than what you're on then? Yes. So, so when you transfer outside or... Yes. Go out by it, Mexico for a run or something, you switch? Yeah, it's our TAC ground, so it's TAC 2, so we just be able to communicate <laughs> on that stuff, fire frequency. Um, we had the money put in our ARP for a uh, repeater, but Central said, hey, you know, um, we've got this, it's available, would you be interested in it? So. And this has been signed by Sheriff Hunter, Molly Grant, 911 director, and you, correct? Correct. Okay. It's nothing we have to approve, right? It's just a statement, kind of? Do we have to approve? We can go ahead and approve and authorize his signature on it. Okay. Since it's an MOU, that's why I'm bringing it in front of the board. Okay. Since, it, um, you know, it's right. just it's a memory. It's not local or anything. It's just... Right. It's just an informational MOU. So the only thing we need to do is just make a motion to accept it as written? Motion to, yeah, give Chief permission to enter the memorandum of understanding. I, I technically, technically don't think he even needs that at this point. I mean, it saves us, what, 30000 Is that what it was? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. No brainer. <laughs> yeah. Make a motion that we accept Brew Fire Department in Miami County using the frequencies as requested. Second. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Request from Miami County worth remembering to place a historical marker at 123 West Main Street, Peru, Indiana. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Pretty good. Oh, you already have I already had the packet. I have the packet. And we got it all. Nope. Well, actually, I have come an extra couple of pages because we received the wording that we're still working on the past. Um, um, and we're still in the process of finishing the word on uh, what it's going to say on the flag. The flag is going to look something like this. It's going to be a big flag. And uh, I just need you to give permission to uh, place the and you've been in touch with Jason Gornto yes. too there at yes. that, that yes. address. So. Yes, he's the one that actually picked where to put it. Right. And uh, you know, he's, the black is paid for. We are just working on the wording and we need the permission turned in. Then it will be uh, ordered. And uh, they don't anticipate uh, it will come in six weeks, let's put it this way. It's going to be a, a few months before we get it. So you won't have to worry about snow. No. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I anticipate it won't be till fall that we have to inflict two Okay. Weeks, so yes. Well, I'll make a motion to approve their request to put the stork marker in the tree lawn at 123 West Main. Must be by Bill Matthew saying to by me that the permission request place state Issued marker in tree lawn at 123 West Main Street for Indiana be granted. All those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Yeah. Will you Thank be you. able to sign that paper today or do I just wait? Um, Might be better to do tomorrow morning. Yeah. If, if probably by tomorrow before That's fine. a noon. Because uh, we close at noon tomorrow. So. I know I didn't know that. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> terrible. I have to leave it new tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. Moving right along. Retirement Steve Hoover from Peru Police Department. What I have here is two letters. First one from Steve Hoover. Dated March 7th, 2023, to Dan Sofianis, City of Peru Police Chief. Chief Sofianis, I am writing notify you of my upcoming retirement. 
My last day of employment with the Peru City Police Department will be March 21st, 2023. I will be forever grateful for the opportunity to spend the past 26 and a half years with the Peru Police Department. It was my honor to serve the city of Peru alongside with some of the hardest working, dedicated, and selflessness men and women that I have ever met. I hope time will grant me the ability to remember the good times and to forget the bad. I will continue to pray for the city of Peru, its employees, and its citizens. Sincerely, Stephen T. Hoover, ID number 54. Now, the letter I have today is dated March 16th from Chief Sophie Honest said, I am informing you that Captain Steve Hoover, badge number 54, has retired from Peru Police Department. Captain Hoover was hired September 21st, 1996, and will retire March 21st, 2023, after 26 and a half years of service with Peru Police Department. The Peru Police Department would like to thank him for his time at the department and service to the city of Peru. Respectfully, Daniel Sofianis, Chief of Police. I will also echo Dan's thoughts on a dedicated police officer that spent 26 and a half years on our department, deserves the utmost praise. With that, I'll make a motion to accept his Retirement resignation letter. I'll second it. All the. <laughs> all those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed. Ayes have it. Communications. I don't have anything. Do you? I don't have anything. Anything from the audience. If not, I thank everyone for coming. I'll make a motion. We adjourn. I'll second it. All in favor. Aye. Aye.